And we're following another breaking story right now, this one out of Moscow, where Russia's foreign ministry says a, quote, bloody terrorist attack is taking place inside a multi-level concert hall, as I said. Photos showed the Crocus City Music Hall engulfed in flames, and Russia's prosecutor general says men dressed in camouflage broke into the building and started shooting. Let's get to NBC News foreign correspondent Matt Bradley, who is following developments from London. Matt, what do we know right now? Yeah, well, what we're hearing from Moscow news reports, from Russian news reports, is that it was something between two to five gunmen who stormed into this crowded concert hall. Not only did they shoot up the place and kill as now many as more than a dozen, possibly 14, though that number is probably going to be going up, they also detonated explosives and, as you can see in some of these images, started a huge fire. Now, this caused a lot of authorities to evacuate hundreds of people. Uh, and so far, we don't know who did it and who has claimed responsibility or the fate of the perpetrators. Um, we've been hearing uh, from John Kirby from the White House saying that there is no evidence so far that Ukraine had anything to do with this, but the Russians are now asking for the entire world to condemn these attacks. Um, now, there is, as we heard from the White House just now, there has been a lot of division within Russia. Uh, this is something uh, that we're seeing on the political level. There were recent elections that were widely uh, slammed as being essentially fraudulent. Uh, and so this has, you know, opened up a lot of ruptures within Russian society that were already quite sensitive because of the ongoing war in Ukraine. So as authorities go about the business of trying to figure out who did this attack, a lot of speculation is almost certainly going to be falling on the Ukrainians. At the same time, this is going to raise a lot of memories of what happened back in Moscow back in 2002 when there was an attack, uh, a hostage situation with involving a lot of children on a theater in Moscow. That was perpetuated, perpetrated excuse me, by the Chechens, Chechen terrorists at the time, uh, and that was a very, very bloody massacre. So again, we're going to be seeing tensions from all over the world uh, coming back on Moscow, uh, and this is something that is certainly going to be appealing or appearing in a lot of the domestic political discussion there as time goes on, and we're starting to hear more and more people discussing the war. Matt, um, in, in trying to figure out what this concert hall is, it, it looks like it's a, a venue kind of like the the Met here in, in, in New York City or, or, or Carnegie Hall. It's a it's a proper concert hall with a, with a stage and, and tiered seating. Um, from video that appears to be posted from from the from the actual uh, incident that you can see on Russian social media, um, it's pretty scary. And there are a lot of folks inside, a lot of folks that appear to be trapped. Um, is it? Do we know if authorities have been able to? to catch the gunman? Is the shooting still ongoing? That's something I'm going to have to get back to you on because I don't actually know, and I think it is still uh, somewhat ongoing. Uh, that's something, where, you know, this has really just, just happened. Uh, so we're still getting a lot of details. Uh, but we're already hearing statements from public officials uh, demanding, well, asking for sympathy uh, from the rest of the world. So this is something that it, when you talk about whether or not it's ongoing, certainly the police operation trying to figure out who, per who perpetrated this attack is only just beginning. And that could be quite an invasive and quite disruptive effort to try to find out who did this, because as we know now, the Russian security state is growing stronger and stronger as it's been enlisted to crush dissent against Vladimir Putin and against the war in Ukraine. Yeah, there Katie. was only a, um, there was an election just a few days ago. Uh, Matt Bradley, Matt, thank you very much. Yeah.